been two weeks since people went running in fear, afraid a mass shooting might be underway at the 4th of July fireworks shown in downtown Orlando. Yeah, so today for the first time, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer is talking about what happened, the city's response, and any changes for future events. News 6's Lauren Cervantes reports. I spoke with Mayor Dyer this afternoon. It's the first time we've heard from him in person following the chaos on the 4th of July at fireworks at the fountain over at Lake Eola. The mayor says they will be meeting to review what happened. We'll do an after action. We're doing an after action to evaluate whether there ought to be any changes. But so far, you know, OFD and OPD responded in the fashion that they should, setting up unification centers. And again, there was not an actual event there. It was just the people that were running. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer commenting on this, what unfolded on July 4th during fireworks at the fountain at Lake Eola. This is video from the Orlando Police Department from that night, showing people running and falling over each other as they try to flee the area. Orlando's police chief said there was no shooting, but that all of it may have been prompted by fireworks that were set off a block away. Additionally, police say no criminal activity was found that led to what happened. As far as we can tell, there was nothing that actually started the people that ran from whatever um, event that was, but it's just a sad commentary that people have to be so on edge um, in any crowd they're in, but it's the same if you go now to a supermarket or a school or just about anywhere you can think of. In the video, you can see how dark it was. Lights in the area were turned off for the fireworks display, but when the chaos erupted, those lights weren't turned on until much later, making it difficult for people to see as they ran. A spokesperson for the city of Orlando tells me they are aware that was a challenge and they are looking into it. I also asked the mayor if what happened on the 4th has them considering changes to major events moving forward. I don't think there's a whole lot of changes. The OPD and OFD response was what we would have wanted. There was a unification center that was set up. There's a lost and found center. There was no shooter, so there was no actually OPD response that was necessary other than to quell the crowd. But it took 15 hours after the incident for us to get a response from the mayor's office regarding his reaction to what had happened. A spokesperson for the mayor's office tells me Mayor Dyer was out of town during the time of the event. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.